DeSantis seeks to codify anti-critical race theory into Florida public schools. And this is from our Editor's Choice Report. And this is the top story from our Editor's Choice Report. We have here Governor Ron DeSantis' new curriculum initiative will promote teaching civics, disavow critical race theory. And uh, let's go to this story. It's worth a little visit. Governor Ron DeSantis' new curriculum initiative will promote teaching civics, disavow... Well, I read the headline. Didn't read, read that twice. Well, I did. No room in the classroom for CRT. Yeah, yeah there literally is not because it's, it's unconstitutional. It's fundamentally unconstitutional to, to have a public school teach a religion, which is essentially what CRT is. It's the religion of, uh, of race and gender and sexual preference in which you condemn whole groups of human beings for not belonging to the state-approved hierarchy preferred hierarchy of of race and gender and sexual preference it's a curriculum that tells white children and black children that well in the case of the white children that their parents are devils that murdered the world and it tells black children that their parents are weak weak human beings who need white saviors to protect them from white devils they create what is uh in the egyptian uh, a late Egyptian god, somewhere around maybe the turn turn of the of the first millennium, zero A.D. somewhere around there, is the emergence of a of a of a god called Abraxas. And Abraxas encompassed both good and evil. And this is what this is this is why I always refer to CRT as basically it's a dialectical white supremacism, and it's it's dialectical white supremacism in which the white gets to play both the devil and the god at the same time. It's pretty invidious. Now, what does Google News think of all this? Well, we have here, we have this gentleman right here, uh, guest opinion from News Press. Ron DeSantis doesn't know things, do, knows things. Critical race theory isn't one of them. Listen, if you're going to tell white children and black children that whiteness is a thing, that whiteness describes the evil of a race that dominated the world and slaughtered the world, that is all you need to know about critical race theory. Because I tell you, this, this is how you know critical race theory is dialectical white supremacism. And it's very simple. You see, if you really are just simply trying to meet the plea of the needy, to, to quote again Isaiah 32, 7, the plea of the needy, or is, uh, even when, uh, the, the scoundrel plans on ruining the plea of the, uh, the needy even when the plea of the needy is right. All you have to do is you can talk about majorityism. Majorityism is a real phenomenon in, hum in humanity. Wherever there's a majority of humans and they can identify one another in some way, they tend to become very uh, cliquish. Uh, the word shibboleth. The word shibboleth comes from, uh, it's, a, it's, it's from the Bible, and I can't remember the specifics, but uh, basically there's a group of people on one side of the Jordan that knew how to say the word uh, uh, shibboleth, and there's a group of people on the other side of the Jordan that didn't know how to use the word shibboleth, so how they check to see whether someone is, is in their group is they ask them to say the word shibboleth. Now, that was the way that they could identify the difference so that they could apply their hegemonic whatever over one or the other. That's, that's human nature. It's not good. It's not a good part of human nature. It's something we need to overcome as humanity. So if you really were looking for equality, you would speak about it within the framework of majorityism, not whiteness. You're clearly not trying for justice. You're trying to perpetuate the violence. You're trying to perpetuate the divisions between we the poorest.